Good morning, Americans and humans. This is your favorite alien here on the morning of Thursday, February 24th, 2022. Stand by for commentary. Well, as all of you know, Mr. Putin finally said, hello, I'm here, yo -hoo! last night. And today he's uh, clobbering Ukraine. As my host, Mr. DeGracia, knows, and he was a kid of nine years old, when similar stuff came down, but do you remember back in 1968, you didn't have the glorious media that you got today. You don't didn't have CNN, you didn't have Fox, and you didn't have uh, the people all over the place putting this out. So the news was a little slow, and you didn't get many pictures like you do today. But in 1968, the Soviet Union invaded Czechoslovakia for the same stupid reasons. And Czechoslovakia was one of their pals. Okay. But it got too friendly and it was saying the wrong things at the wrong time. Twelve years earlier, and you guys from Budapest know what I mean, Hungary went through the same thing. And there was a picture that was taken in 1968 over there in Prague. We got the Russian tanks and the Hungarian tanks and the Hungarians. And you could see in the faces of the Hungarian soldiers with their weapons and guns and cannons from the tanks pointing at the Czechs. Because at that time, the Slovaks and the Czechs were Czechoslovakia. Yoo hoo! Can you imagine them looking at the Czechoslovak and saying, 12 years ago, I was in your same position, and here I am pointing a gun at you? And you saw that from the Hungarians, from that picture. 1956 and 68. Deja vu, 2022. Yeah. And then uh, Fox News just announced that China has told uh, Putin, oh, yeah, yeah, it's the United States' fault. And you say, oh, yeah, 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 they're agreeing with each other, yeah, yeah. Well, it is the U.S. fault in a way, too. You guys caused this. You guys were chummy with Putin. And you guys took advantage of a situation that you could have handled differently when the Soviet Union collapsed in 1991. Like I said in my previous video. You guys went there, stick it to Russia. Oh, and they got Boris Yeltsin. Okay, so hey, we got a stupid guy in Russia. Yoo-hoo, let's get him. Uh, yeah. Now you're paying the price. World War Three, Americans. Is it worth the price of your stupid actions in 1991, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 2000, 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, 06, and so forth. Is it worth to you? Do you understand what your government did and what your stupid policies have done? It's not only Vladimir Putin, it's you and the Chinese, of course. You guys opened up China in 1976. Oh, well, we got to use them as a card against the Soviet Union. I remember that in, 1990, in 1976, like it was yesterday. And it's come back to roost today. Because what do you got? China, militarily, financially, and morally backing Russia. 
It couldn't happen to a nicer guy. And I'm not trying to demigrate you Americans. I'm trying to tell you this is the way of thinking that's cost you this. Your way of thinking. Vladimir Putin couldn't have done this on his own. He had help from you. And of course, Mr. Xiaoping over there in China. But basically, the Obama administration, the Bush administration, the Trump administration, and the Biden administration has helped. Your way of thinking. China and Russia are unique nations. And you guys never treated them as such. Oh, we can put them in, uh, now that the Soviet Union has collapsed, we can make Russia a Western power and uh, have them make Western ideas. And what the hell is a Western idea anyway? There's a lot of country in Latin America that wants to know what it is. They've gone through decades of hell because of your meddling. And Europeans have gone through decades of hell because of your meddling. The Europeans aren't much better. They're a pain in the ass too. Two world wars in one century and another in, a, in 75 years you got World War Three. <laughs> Gee, Americans, what's it going to take for you to get your watermelons off your brains and said, hey, what do we do now? Yeah, no, that's a question you got to ask. What are you going to do now? Because you know that Putin's going to turn around and say, oh, we got dangerous situation in our backyards. Mr. Deng Xiaoping, you got a dangerous situation in your backyard. Taiwan, you hoo And of course, the situation that we got is Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. Oh, and Poland. We got to get back to Poland. They've been pissing our asses for the last 30 years. Uh, yes. And the Germans, you who, we got to pay them back for the Great War. Now they're depending on us with uh, energy and oil. Oh, isn't that fun? So let's, let's get our marionettes out and, okay, Germans, and start shooting our guns and say, it's time to dance like the Kazakh dance, you know. When you put the uh, sword down, hi, hi, and the cassocks start dancing. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> and who do you have to blame? Nobody but yourselves. You humans. You caused this. Will you way up thinking? What else can I say? This is your favorite alien. Enjoy World War Three while you can. Good day. <laughs>